Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to explain how to add Nokia VSR multi line cards node deployment on EVNG. Uh, earlier, uh, Nokia VSR images that you can add only one line card, but in the latest version of the EVNG, they have added a script to deploy the multi line card. Okay, let's start. So, first uh, and foremost step is to upgrade your EVNG to the latest version. Uh, otherwise, you can download the latest version from their website. As also, what you can do is you can do an upgrade by using this apt upgrade command on your existing Eve software. As you can see, I've already done that. So it has to say that there is no update pending. Otherwise, it will ask you for to update to the latest script. So you have to press yes, then install the latest software. Once the upgrade is done, the next step is to upload the Nokia VSR software download from the Nokia website. So I've already done that. So let me show you. I use FileZilla to upload it and also unzip the file. So the steps I've already mentioned in the slide here. Okay, once you unzip, then what we are going to do, we are going to create a two folders. One is for the CPM and another is one for the IOM. And here you can see this is the version that I'm going to use it for the demonstration. So I'll explain you what is this L1 uh, during the uh, node deployment in the EVNG GUI. Okay, see this place VM. So go inside the file. Okay, so this is the image that we are going to use it for deploying the CPM and IOM, the same image that we are going to use it. First, let me copy and paste this. Okay, created a directory for CPM. Okay, then I'm going to copy this. So what I'm supposed to do, I'm going to move this hda.qcov2 to this folder, cpm, that's done. So what I'm going to do, again I'm going to copy, copy right click and paste. So what I'm going to do, again I'm going to move this hda dot qcov2 to, to the iom folder okay i need to create a directory for iom okay before that let me fix a permission okay this command will fix the permission for the new file like that so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a one more directory for iom card so here, I'm simply going to change IOM. That's it. Then what you're going to do is move this sta.qcov2 to this IOM card. Then do a fix permission. Just copy paste this command again. Okay, so till this step that we are done adding the uh, image for CPM and IOM. Uh, next step is to add the license. I have already uh, created a video uh, for uploading the license to the EVNG. So for the Nokia VSR, so you can refer the video. I'll give the video in the description. Once the license is added, then we can add the image to the GUI and start doing the the next step is to log into the EVNG GUI and add the image and do a testing for the multi line card. So save it. So right click, add node, search for Nokia, and here click on CPM. Here, this is the version. So, what I'm going to do is so here there's a trick. So what you have to do, you have to copy paste the CPM 
and IOM cards. So it uses this particular demos line. So save it. Again, I right click and search for IOM. Select and instead of one, you just click two and change the name. Yes, and click on save. So it will add the two. Okay, so we have added the, the chassis line for the CPM. So we have to do the same for IOM as well. So this is the predefined. So this is the cut slot number two. Yes, so you have to mention yes. IOM card two. Here, the same. This is the slot one. Okay, can leave this and save it. Then right click, add a network bridge. So click your here, here and connect your fabric. So here you can see when I selected the slot one, it's a one one one. It is populating for the slot two. I'll show you here. You can see two slash one slash one. Okay, so this is your card, MDA and the port number. Okay, so what I'm going to do, you click here and start all the nodes. Instead of clicking one by one and adding the node. Let it boot up so that we can do the configurations to bring up the IOM 1 and IOM 2. So it take like few more minutes. Now the login has come, the username and password default is admin admin, show version, yes. So you can copy paste this or otherwise we can do manually also, show SFM. configure card one card type so this is the first card configure card two card type the same okay and now we have procured provision both the cards now next we are going to provision the md card one card type and this yeah Config code one MDA one MDA type. So that's my mistake. Yes, here the card two. Yes, simple guys. Show MDA. Yes, it's booting now. So it will come up. Few minutes. Yeah, it is up up. Show port. You can see. Now I have two IOM cards. This is slot one and this is slot two. And hope uh, this is helpful for you guys to know that how to add multiple IOM card and EVNG for Nokia VSR. And thanks very much for watching the video. Uh, please do subscribe my channel and do like and comment. Thank you very much for watching.